Exporting out for the web is simple from Lightroom. With its powerful web module, you can easily export into a variety of different Lightroom galleries. There are both Flash and HTML galleries supported in Lightroom 3, but what I want to talk about today is the Airtight Symbol Viewer gallery that's available. So if you go to the web here, web module, and you click on Airtight Simple Viewer in the layout style, it's going to load up Simple Viewer. And this is a really, really popular gallery style. So it's a flash based gallery, which means it's only going to be viewable on, well, most devices, but there are some like the Apple mobile devices that cannot view flash very well. So it's something to think about if you target that market when you export your gallery out. But what you do here is we can set up this gallery in any way you want. So I'm going to minimize the layout style and side info. I'm just going to briefly mention that the color palette allows you to choose and change the background. It also allows you to change borders of the images as well as the text that shows here. I'm going to leave it like it is right now. And I'm going to focus on the appearance. And this is where the simple viewer gallery kind of shines. So you can set the different positions here that you want the thumbnails to appear at. Right now it's at the left. You can choose top, bottom, left or right. I'm going to choose bottom here. And it's going to have to generate it again each time. But what I want to do, I don't want the three rows. I only want one row of images. But I want a fair bit of more thumbnails in the column. So let's say I do eight in a row. No, maybe not eight. Let's do five. And it's going to redo and scale up five here. And it's going to do an image here. If you want, you can have zero row and you're just going to have one image displaying, which can be kind of neat because you'll get the arrows here as well. But let's do one because we want the gallery navigation. And if you move down, you have some more output settings here. So for example, the size of the large images I want to increase because this is way little. So let's do it up to 671. And I'm not sure this is going to because we are on a small screen, it's not going to take the full size until we export it and view it in a browser. But I do want to get down the photo border to say somewhere around 9 or 10 pixels. Because it looks a bit too much with 20 on there. So here we go, something much better. You can also choose the padding, which is the inside spacing here for the different photos. So I think this is going to be... Be very good and you can also change the output quality of the images you're exporting. Now as this is a live preview of what happens when I export, you can go and click the arrows, see the thumbnails go by. You can also navigate the different images here using the full on screen ones here. So this is a simple, very simple way to generate a very effective gallery. It looks stunning when you're doing it. So there you have it, a simple way exporting your own gallery to the web.